This is what you need to take from what you have today. That the Most High God has provided an opportunity for you to come back to Him. So that you can come back being the God that you was ordained to be. You can come back being and walking in the royalty that He's put upon you as princesses that has power with God. That's right. This is your chance today. It's up to you. Again, sir? I'm sorry. Calvin. Calvin. Okay. Kathy? Calvin, Kathy, what's her name? Brianna. 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 I mean, Lysia. So, as they was going over, they said the next step is to start coming together. Why coming together with so, like minded people would be a benefit? Why would it be a benefit? Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. I mean. Why would it be beneficial? Question. I say this. All right. Let's say you wanted to start a, a, a business as a as a chef, right? Would you go in business with somebody that cuts glass for a living? Why? See, you know nothing about cooking. You know about cutting grass, right. right? Your goal is to be beneficial in what you're doing, so you're gonna come together with somebody that know how to do it. The same thing, right? right. Because you will build each other up, right? right? Watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Bring it out. Two are better than one. God said two are better than one. That's why he made a marriage between a man and a woman as well. They're better than one. Why? Because they have a good reward for their labor. The reason why their reward is going to be good is because they're going to help build each other up. That's no different than why you would have to, or why you're commanded to congregate with like-minded people, to help build you up. Read on. For if they fall, for if Calvin fall, the wind will lift up his fellows. Kathy can help build Calvin back up, right? No different from Kathy falling, Brianna can help build her back up. Right. Or you can help build them up. We as a nation can help build our nation back up because we're on the same mind. That's right. The same process to build our people up, right? Wait. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth. But woe to those that are alone when they fall. Those that decide, you know what, I hear this, this is cool, I'm going to do my thing. Why does it say woe to him that is alone when he falls? He's all by himself. Nobody's there to help build them back up when they fall. Right. That's why you you fell back a little bit. It was no you had no one around to help you when you fell into the midst of whatever. Right. For the most high God has had mercy on you to allow you to have another chance. Right. Right? We. For he has not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. So the whole point of the matter is to have someone to help build you back up when you fall. Give me Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12, right? Because all of us have had issues and situations where we fail, right. right? But the Most High God has had a, a certain level of mercy to be able to bring us back where we need to be. 3 and 12. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return the backsliding Israel. The Most High God has sent us out here today to speak to His people in the land of the north. Right. To say, return back to the Most High God, O backsliding daughter. We all have backslid. Yeah. How we know? What's that backslide? That's us in the midst of sin. Right. Whether we understand what sin it is or not, God said, return back to his laws. He'll give you the understanding of how to stay out of it. That's right. He'll put you around people that'll help you when you fall. Right. This is what you need to take from what you have today. That the Most High God has provided an opportunity for you to come back to him. So that you can come back being the God that you was ordained to be. For you to come back being and walking in the royalty that he's put upon you as princesses that has power with God. That's right. This is your chance today. It's up to you. Read it again. Go and proclaim these words for the north, uh -huh. and say, return the backsliding Israel. That return comes back to repentance. The first step is understanding that you come from the children of Israel. Right. Do you understand? Can you, 
If somebody asked you, how do you know that you're the children of Israel, can you explain it to them? Explain it to me, real fast. How do you know that you are the children of Israel? So, how would you say that you identify as the children of Israel? How, do, how can you prove that you descend from the children of Israel? You have to learn that. Hold that. We gotta, you have to take this away today. Knowing everything else is cool, but part of your repentance is being able to identify as the children of Israel. Right. Now, you did say that this stuff happened to your people, right? Make it real quick, real plain. 29 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 1. Bring it out. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses. These are the words that Moses was commanded to give to who? To men with the children of Israel. So the stuff that we're reading about in Deuteronomy are things that Moses spoke to the children of Israel. Right. 2868. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee. The thee. Who is the thee he's speaking to? Right. What did, what did he just call them? Who are Moses speaking to? The children of who? The children of Israel. Right? That's right. So he said, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee. Who is the thee? The children of Israel. That's right. right. Into Egypt again. So the Egypt means bondage, house of bondage. Right. He said, I'm the Lord that God which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Right. So he said, you're going to go back into bondage out. With ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. Who did that happen to? Who did that happen to? That happened to us. Who were those slaves? They called them what? Negroes, right? Which means black. Who do they call black and Negroes today? Us. They know we ain't Africans. Right. They know the difference. But they don't want you to know that because when you know that, now you can identify with who these people is in the Bible. Who God said is the greatest people ever walked the planet Earth. That's right. Who God said the only reason why the sun is in the sky is because he created them. He created all the other nations for you. Right. To serve you. But because we didn't serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, now we serve them. But there's going to be a recompense. There's going to be a payback, a judgment for what they did to our people. That's right. And they're going to go back to what they're supposed to be, which is your servants. Right. But first, you must identify with who you are. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You're not a black man, you're not African, you're not uh, Jamaican, West Indian, you're none of that. Right. You're God according to God. That's right. And you have to learn how to live like that and identify that. Right. God said the men that he made to be gods, they identify as the children of Israel. We know who they are because what happened to them? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. They went into slavery or bondage again with ships. What happened when they got off the ships? They put them to work, where they, they could do whatever they want? No. Did they decide where they would work? No. Or did somebody decide it for them? Somebody decided it for them, right? That person that decided where they would work, what happened? Did he fly? Were, were we not put on the auction blocks and so on? Didn't that happen to our people? Let's see who God said that was going to happen to. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, 
thou shalt see it no more again. And there, when you got off of those slave ship, you shall be sold unto your enemy. To you who? Your enemy. God said that the children of Israel were going to slavery by slave ships. When they got off the ships, wherever they docked, they would be doing what? You shall be sold unto your enemy. Those same people would sell them like cattle. Yeah. Would transport them like cattle and sell them unto your enemy for bond men. Slave men. And bond women. Slave women. And no man shall bite. No man was going to be able to redeem us out of the hand of God. Right. So, when they say, what's your nationality, you should say, what? You're, no, not, not that you're a black man, you're the children of Israel. That's one right. thing. We, if we had the time, we'd go through all the curses with you to help identify. Right. Because God said what happened to the children of Israel has happened to no other nation. Right. But we're reading about our history right now. Right. What happened to our people? Who else was put on slave ships and sold? Who else children was taken from them? Bring it up. Who else had wives that was raped and ravaged? Who else had men tied up to two different horses? They were set on fire, butt naked, tarred and feathered, and the doggone horse ripped them in half in front of their family. This ain't happening to nobody else. Right. But God said this happened to the children of Israel. That's right. You must first identify yourself as the children of Israel. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. Go and proclaim these words for the Lord and say, Return! Now that's sliding Israel. So God is telling you right now to return back to him, Israel. Right. Not a black man. Israel, a prince that has power with God. Power is in the name of Israel. Me, brother, it's by the keeping the commandments where your power lies. Yeah, God, yeah, they are fearful yeah. of a black man raising up and taking care of his family. Because you know what that's going to do? That's going to cause other black men to see. That's going to cause other children to start respecting their parents. That's going to change the way that people look at us as a whole. They don't want that. Keep going. Says the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. Do you want God to be angry with you? You don't. So in order to keep God's anger off of you, what must you do? What he said at the top? Return. Oh, yeah. Return back to the Most High God. All right? Make sure that this does not escape you. All right? Our address is on the flyer. We meet every Saturday, which is the Lord's Saturday. Right. The Lord's Sabbath. Right. Every Saturday. Right. Make sure you come. Take the time. Be around the people of God that's going to help build you up. That's going to bring you back to what you're supposed to be. You understand? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.